Hey guys, how you doing? This is Fee. How's your day going today? I have another Timu unboxing and uh, hopefully you will enjoy. Down below I've got some links to the uh, products but first of all let's get into this bag. <laughs> Boy are these bags hard to get into. First cab out of the rank of the craft items is for resin. I suppose you use them for paints but I use these for resin. Um, once I've finished with resin it's really great to leave it to set in these and then I can actually dispose of now. I do have silicon cups for disposal but these ones I loved. Now what you can see is me having a bit of a surprise because the cups that I ordered are bigger than the last lot of cups I got. So really impressed with these. They're a lot bigger. The They are a, called a multi-purpose plastic mixing cup and uh, 100 pieces. So they are a good size. Next package out of the bag, diamond painting pen. Now this was a diamond painting pen kit with six pieces of stainless steel tips. It also had the roller and uh, a container of wax. Now these are beautiful to look at. These are a little bit different to the standard ones that um, push in and these actually screw in. So I'm trying to show you what these things look like. Now they are so pretty, so pretty. It's, it's the shiny pretty colours that got me. Now you can see me looking at it going, hey what? <laughs> so these actually, set, as I said, screw in. Now with that you obviously have to have specific diamond painting pens for these to go into and you see me going through we've got all the different places the nine places the six the three we've got the straightener we've got a bent and also a straight uh, a jewel and look how shiny they are they're actually matte it looks shiny but they are matte what we do have is the roller and I'm just showing you that it is lovely and flexible. A container of wax. Just trying to dig out, dig the plastic off from around it. And here we go. Out it comes. Basically it's one sheet that's been cut and uh, still joined together though. So six squares of wax still joined together. So. They are actually come out as very pretty colour. I like the colour of them and you can see the comparison. Pop that away. Now I have a look. So let's have a closer look at this pen and the fact that the ends screw in. It is actually a narrower pen. Now you think it's quite a bit different because with screw in it's not going to slide out where we... Um, other pens, uh, other nibs end up sliding out and you see the difference between the thickness. So you do have thin and there is thick. But a bit concerned about this because the tips are screw in, yeah, you definitely have to get um, the pen that allows it to screw into the ends. And here we go. So that standard ends do not fit in so I can only use that pen with those tips and those tips won't fit into any other pen so it's a bit confused by that because I didn't realize I was screwing but I actually do like them I've used that pen now and it is quite interesting to use especially the bent tip so there's me spinning the roller and me going, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I've changed my mind on it now that I've used it. Okay, on to the next. What else can I find in this lovely little bag? Still got a few items left to go. Digging in. You will see now that I have wax. Didn't, <laughs> when I ordered these, I was clicking on add into cart, click on add to cart with the intention of going back and 
removing some of the uh, wax things that I had. So one of these, this is the the little one is the just trying to find it what it was called. It was just 48 pieces. Sorry, six pieces. The big one was 48 pieces of uh, purple resin. The other one is just eight. So now into this bag, what have I got in here? I have uh, removed this out of the packaging, so make it easier. This is actually a large capacity pen container, so it's a drawer storage box. This was the aim is to put all my diamond painting pens in and all sorts of other goodies. And I've just had it upside down. <laughs> Cute little container. It only has three drawers. Not that deep, only about an inch deep. But uh, very handy to have. I was actually, I'm actually able to put my pens in, my drill bits. I put wax in another section. And yeah, just a little container that opens and closes, you know, storage drawers. So the link is down below on those so you can have a look. What's next? This is for the diamond painters or beaders um, little bead storage box. Now for those of you that um, I've actually shown this box before but it was the Elizabeth Ward bead storage. So we'll uh, get into this little package. This one, when you pull it out, we normally have with Elizabeth Ward, we have the storage sets of 42, 50 and 78 containers. This one here is the 48, sorry, not 48, 42 containers. So we'll have a look at this closer. Off comes the lid and you can see got a range of them I'm looking at it going now what's different to it all but the big ones are my favorite and why is that is when you get a diamond painting that has a lot of 310 it is really good to fit them in and I have um, tended to find that I can do something that has a lot of color, a big diamond painting that has a lot of colors and swap and change my uh, containers about in the tubs. So let's go and have a look and compare with the other ones I have. Comparison wise, let's have a look. They look very similar, slightly different color and slightly different openings. These openings actually clip down harder, whereas the other one is a very soft opening on those side um, cape, those side pieces, but definitely clip in a lot firmer. Now the lids are exactly the same, with the exception of the ends to show you where it clips onto and locks in. Okay, now what's the next thing we look at? What I'm going to do is pull this up and show you that they are exactly the same size. The container tubs are exactly the same size. Exactly the same opening. There is no difference between the containers inside. So I am going to be able to chop and change and uh, go with whatever colors are uh, which whatever size containers I want I will admit that I have six of these now but it's good to know that you can find them on Timu um, yeah they, they, they're actually it's good to know you can get them on Timu it's not just where I got mine from Amazon before the only difference is is just those side clips and the slight change of color to the um, holder. The what would you call that? Storage bit? I don't know. It's all storage. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you like what you've seen here. We'll have a quick little recap of what is in these. What I did get. 
there was some items that I didn't unbox and show you but here we go the resin cups which were really good and of a lovely size hold a lot more resin in them than my other ones I did also get my diamond painting pen and, and look at this with my nails I struggled to open that up but I got the diamond painting pen with the screw on ends which at this stage I was 100% still unsure of so give me a quick look again that that screws in okay then what was next I got the range of wax also the uh, drawers a little storage drawers which when you've got long nails are a little bit hard to uh, open so I discovered and the bead storage now let me know if you liked any of these um, I was quite happy with this order would I order any of this stuff again um, yes the drawers I would the bead storage I would probably wouldn't have ordered as much wax but uh, you know I've got plenty of wax there's me shoving all the extra bits that I ordered that uh, I didn't show you because uh, they weren't craft related a um, little bit of travel related and something for my car as well which lights up and I wasn't sure whether I was going to put this on my car or not but we'll see if you spot my car, if I spot a jeep around with the lizard or a gecko on the back you know it's mine anyway guys comment like subscribe all that share all that jazz and bye for now